In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you need to know about hiring a virtual assistant, a VA for your real estate business. My name is Tarmila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader with EXP Realty Brokerage. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. If this is your first time coming here, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell to get updates on more content like this. And if you are looking to partner with me to help you grow your business, I work with agents around the world. And if you want to know more information about it, head to the description, click on that link, and I'm going to share everything you need to know and the best part is all for free so let's talk a little bit about VAs hiring VAs everything you need to know the best part about all of this is that it's going to help you increase productivity in your business it's going to help you streamline your business and you'll be very surprised that every time I ask somebody about have you thought about hiring a VA the first thing they asked me is with what money I don't have a lot of income and you'll be surprised how little you can spend with taking a lot of tasks that you that are really holding you back from growing so that you could put it towards income producing activities and doing things that are really important in your business that a VA can do that building that relationship with your clients going and seeing property showing properties and the really interesting part is that you'll be surprised that a VA that you can get to put in place to do some of your tasks it's going to help you actually grow your business and it's going to actually save you money in the process so it's actually a cost saving and it's going to actually help you grow as well and the best part is that scalability right as you grow you'll realize that a lot of tasks and if in the efficiencies are what holds you back from really reaching your business objectives and your business goals. And the way you want to start off doing this is to figure out if you need a VA is do a time study of everything that you do. Uh, you know, a lot of what Josh and I do, you know, as you guys know, Josh and my husband and I were business partners and we have multiple business together, multiple businesses, tons of different properties here in Canada and in the US. And the way we do a lot of these things is having assistance. And we even had a co-op student recently. And the reason why we are so good at working and with with other people and collaboratively with VA, some here and some that are in other countries and we use a different company for this. And the reason why is because we've understood where we need help, where somebody can do something, because that's one thing that I've spoken to other team members of mine who one of their biggest you know, concerns they shared, they shared with me is, I don't know what I'm going to give my VA because I feel like I need to do everything. And that starts with the problem is you not understanding what you're doing and what you can actually delegate. This is a really good time to go check out my video on time management. There are some really cool techniques I show you, in there, show you in that video about how to be efficient and most importantly that Eisenhower matrix about how to find out if a task is important or if it's urgent and trust me that's a it's a it's a game changer for your business so highly recommend that you truly understand what is it that you do and what is your business goals and where are you heading to? So once you figure that out, you'll be surprised. You can start to look at different companies and they have lists and I'm going to put that in my blog. So when you click on the link in the description below and go to my website, you can head to my blog where I'm going to have a list of all the types of jobs that a VA can do with this video. So make sure you check that out. Everything from data entry, you know, filling out your CRMs, managing your social media, coming up with the post, scheduling them for you, helping you edit videos, managing your website websites or editing content on your website that's already built by a professional website designer or developer, you know, doing lead follow up, any customer service related things that they can deal with, picking up things from the printer, handing things out for marketing, everything and anything in marketing. A lot of those tasks can be done by a VA or a company and list goes on and on. You'll be surprised at how much a VA or an assistant, a staff can take on. And I even had a co-op student who was with us for a couple of months that we were able to work with. And she did and worked with us on so many things. And really important, some of the uh, strategy in order to get the best out of your staff is to have systems in place and constant communication. One of the ways that, and I come from a world where I I manage staff, I manage assistants and, and, and co-op students and interns. This is something that I uh, that I did. So this is a second nature to me. And some of my tips for you is have a system in place like an Asana or like a, a tool, a task management, a project management tool. And this is actually a great time to check out my video on tools that every real estate agent needs to have for efficiencies. I, ta I share a ton of tools in there with you and apps and mobile apps and things that you can use. I use Asana. This is where I have everyone in there. All my my videographer, my video editor is in there. Our thumbnail, our our designers are in there. And remember, I own a marketing agency too. So if you need help with any of that, let me know. And so we had a co-op student in there. Josh is my husband's in there. I'm in there. My business partners are in there that I work really closely with because I own a number of businesses. So 
is really important because I can assign tasks to these people. And I can put a date on it. And if they feel that date isn't doable, they're going to change it and let me know. And I can track all of this. So there's no he said, she said, and you're keeping accountable. You can keep people accountable to the tasks that they're assigned to. And you can have conversations in there. So you don't have to sit in front of the computer. They come in app form. So it's really about thinking how fluid that you can work with these people. So it's not really about just the task, but it's really about the process in itself. So you're probably thinking, how do I hire one? There's so many ways you can go about this if you want to. And I can give you my own suggestions of what worked for me. You can go about it your own way and you know, post a jo job description on Indeed, LinkedIn, and hire them yourself or and on your social media, whatever. So, or hire somebody that you know. And there's pros and cons that come with that. But most importantly, you can hire them or you can hire them on Fiverr or Upwork where the payment could go through the system you can leave reviews and you can and if you don't like somebody you can hire somebody else so you're not really stuck to a time frame what really works for me is i hired a virtual assistant company and i have multiple vas that come through this company so if you want recommendations or referral to the company let me know get in touch with me send me a dm on instagram and i'll share the company with you and I can make an introduction for you. And this is awesome because I don't have to build out spreadsheets and pay them because that's what I was doing with one of my co-op students that I had here is that I had to create my own payment system. I had to create a tracking sheets to track their hours. So it's really important that if you can get a lot of it done by somebody else, that's a, a lot of unindated tasks that come with hiring a VA is that they're going to take a lot out of your plate but they can add a lot of tasks to your plate. So you want to work a little smart and efficient here. So if you can have somebody do that, that's great. And for me, it's accountability. If somebody, if I hired somebody and they're not as great as they saw in the interview and I can just find somebody else and I could go back to the company and hold them accountable if something were to happen in the business and which is so important and you're probably wondering like how do I get started first and foremost it starts with you like I said do a time study understand your business understand where you are right now where you're looking to go what is it that you need help with what are your business goals, business objectives? And once you made a real strong list of the tasks that you need someone to help you with, and even looking at your strengths and weakness, and head to my video on SWOT analysis and look at your strengths and weaknesses. And if you look at the weaknesses and the things that you need to improve on, potentially a staff can help you with that because they might be more skilled in that than you are. Why not? Like a video editing. I know how to do edit videos, but someone else might be might be able to do it faster and better. And that's why we've hired a video editor. So a couple of things to keep that in mind for, for that. And so you're probably also wondering how much do they cost? It really depends. So you can get, you know, a super, you know, admin in, I'm in Toronto, Canada. So if you're in the US, you can hire somebody locally for somewhere between minimum wage of 15, $14 to $17 USD Canadian dollars. Uh, and if you want someone who's specifically like a transaction coordinator or someone who's specific to the real estate industry, they can cost anywhere between $25 to $70 an hour. really depends on your currency, U.S., Canada. And also keep in mind, or if you're like us, we have lots of, you know, VAs that are use a company that are in other countries like the Philippines and India, and they cost as little as five to six dollars an hour. And and they are looking for a lot of work. They're looking for hours. So that's what we use. So and we also had a co-op student that we paid minimum wage here in Canada. And we had to follow the process through the school. And you could do that as well. And you can help somebody out because I used to do that in my corporate world before I started to work for my myself. So a couple of things to keep in mind. And this is really important because some of the things you want to look for when you're hiring somebody too is relevant skills. Again, what are you looking to hire them? And that's why I recommend you hire multiple people for the task itself rather than hiring one person to do everything because it really depends on what they're good at. That's why my video, my video editor only does video editing. My designer, graphic designer does my graphic design work, like my thumbnails. And my graphic designer doesn't do my videos. Does that make sense? Even though it seems to be very close in what they can do, right? Communication is huge. Keeping not only accountable, but them understanding your task. Make sure you repeat your task to them to understand they get it. Make sure you write it out using that project management tool, task management uh, platform like that. They're free, guys. Anything that I'm sharing with you is to really make your life easier. As complicated as the sound, it keeps you organized. Organizational skills is everything. Do they know how to prioritize properly? Because I've had people that I've seen their work, they're great at what they do, but they would spend way more hours than somebody else that I've hired. That's the big issue. They would take forever to do something great, but someone else could do it even shorter time and still get it done greatly. So keep that in mind. And adaptability, right? Your business change, tools change. Facebook is updating itself every other day. So keep that in mind, right? Like 
hiring somebody and make sure they're able to adapt to the task and the industry. And there's so much more you can learn from. Again, like I said, if you want to learn more, connect with me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to share them with you. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this is helpful for you to kind of open your eyes to hiring VAs. There's so much a VA can do, but it's all up to you. If you allow yourself to people to assist you, to help you, to grow your business, if that makes sense, for lack of a better word, to give it like that, then you can go after true growth and scale. Thank you so much again for being here. My name is Tamila Rajasingh. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, again, this is a great time to subscribe, stay connected, like that button if you liked it, and hit the notification bell as well. I will see you next time.